there guys, it's Kip Omin here and welcome to my channel as of you quite new here, I'm so glad to see you for joining me on this brand new video for another read it out for starting time together as we learn and listen so I show a book I've got it's going to be a children's book I've got it is One Night in the Sea illustrated and written by Judith Carr she also read um, the tiger who came to tea, Mog, the forgettable cat, forgetful cat. Some of you heard of this, never heard of this classic story before. So, perhaps I'll go have a go to read this children's storybook to a life of our childhood as well for generations. So, before we begin, I will show you some pictures for each page one of read by words now let's begin you came to what right place yeah, shall we start one magical light one magical moonlight night in a zoo and Evan jumped in the air and flew but nobody knew nobody knew Then the crocodile and the kangaroo set off on a, a bicycle made for two. And three, and three lions did tricks which astonished a gnu, but nobody knew. Four bears cooked a squid and squid berry. Stew. Which turned five flamingos from pink to blue. Six rabbits climbed the giraffe for a few, but nobody knew. Seven tigers sneezed. Achoo, achoo. Achoo, 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 achoo. And their seven sneezes blow the feathers of a cocker too. Eight monkeys stuck them back with glow, but nobody knew. Then in the sky, a pinkish hue broke through the dark. And, and as it grew, nine owls cried, Roo, twitteroo, for light is fading, quickly shoo, back in your cages, all of you. The sun got up, the keeper too, ten cocks crawled, cock a doo goo doo He's coming, quick, he's almost due. The keeper and his trusty crew found all the animals back on the on few, except only one or two. They look so tired, he said, all through the moonlight moonlight night. What they did they do? But nobody knew. Except you. And here they are again. So I hope you joined this classic children's story book, One Night in the Sea, was written by, and also by, illustrated by Judith Carr. This is a really interesting story. It's, it is good to read life our childhood stories in the, for many generations. It looks so absolutely astonishing, so fantastic children's story ever heard. Okay guys, so, this is a short story I'll read to you. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And please do tune for another read it out for you guys. And I'll see you later.